I think we should go ahead and visit. The witch call. And by witch call, I mean the shrine. Uh, where did I leave it? Oh, there it is. Unless I already did this, but I don't think so. How many we got? We got 20. Wait, you also have four sages will make your bond with sage stronger. Ah. Oh. Okay. What does that do? I mean, may as well. Strengthening valve to Sage when your reinforce bonus increases Avatar's attack power. We like that. We like attack power. But I need to pray. Mm -hmm. Give me. Second, get five. Let's make it three heart containers and two stamina's. Both very useful. Nice. Hard container. Uh, it doesn't take us through the whole animation when you get several at the time. That's fine. Let's get some stamina. <clears throat> These heart containers and stamina vessels are like Pokemon. They can change their size at will. shoot him down. <laughs> Hiccups. So. I could buy some of this stuff. Because why not? What's this one? Oh. I feel like I want this. Yeah, well, let's get this. It's expensive, but I want it. I'm very happy. I like this just because it's cool looking. I like this, but I already had. Don't need to spend money on that. They were rupees. Huh. Now, we're doubled up on our cold resistance. Where's that place? 
Mm, nice. I don't think I need to make any more cold things if I can just keep wearing this. Okay, so, ooh, I died over here. We know that in this area somewhere, there's a glyph. Where else is there a glyph? Oops. That one all the way down there. Have we found that? There's also one like right around here somewhere. Mm, let's go look for this one. Maybe we can actually find this one. This one's under the snoo. It's nice and warm. Are we good? We're good on the cold protection. We don't have to make stuff all the time. That's brilliant. No. Should be a glyph around here somewhere. Heck is that up oh, tumbleweed? Battle Talus might be handy to take out. Is this tent over here last time? Probably. north of that little lake. Just north of this. So it's like right over here. Let's put a stink. Right around there. Right around Rudamula Hill. Rudamula. Take a quick break. I'll be right back. Take a trip. Let's see. There it is. That's what I need. That is what I'm looking for, I think. Must be. Hmm. 
must be. There's that little lake. It's just north of it. There's a giant hole in the ground. here at oh, I see it easier to find than most story time. to offer you my deepest apologies on behalf of the Gerudo for taking so long to accept your repeated invitations. It is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom, to serve it faithfully. A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth, well, it is truly reassuring. It is my honor. When your Zonai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. <coughs> your majesty has certainly risen above your admirable lineage. Most impressive. Hmm. It is unfortunate that the noble Zonai no longer grace this world with their presence. All except you and your sister, that is. Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. <laughs> your actions today are appreciated, Ganondorf. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. Pretty suspicious. King Roru, I believe that man's heart holds many dark ambitions. Just his name, even that, it gives me pause. I am well aware of his evil nature. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. There is nothing to worry about. Everything will be just fine. Okay. Trust me.
There's Grudoville, which we haven't stepped foot in yet. Eventually. All right, let's see. Let's see. We got that one on the east side of Gerudo yet. Is it this one? I think so, yeah. Do have that one. Okay, there's 11 of them. One, two, three. Oops, wrong way. Don't have. The, well, I got the location of that way wrong. So there should be one around here ish. Should be one around here somewhere. And that'll be all of them on the west side. And there's like four of them coming down the middle. That's one. We got those. And there's two on the right side. This one we got. And one over here somewhere. Let's go look for that one. Shine over there, we need to. All right, face north. There is our glyph. I don't think I've been over there. Makes a notable noticeable difference in the balance of this thing. Looks like it got us all the way there, though. Oh. Got me all the way here. Nice. Uh, okay.
We definitely haven't been here. Neither have we been down do a lot of this stuff. That's unfortunate. I do got something that can lift me up there. Stop. <laughs> Stop that. That's how I want to be. I think that I've, I've made an error. I've made a grave error. This part is upside down. my doubts about this too. Mangles down there. We can always come back and visit these at some other time. Ooh, I was really worried about that. And there 
there's a fairy. Howdy, bird. Have the song Everybody Hates Ned Flanders stuff. I'm not sure I was aware that was a song. Harry, can you come back down, please? How you doing, bird? I just very refused to come down, so I may capture it and eat it at a later time. want me to eat you. Right. No. I might challenge her, I guess. Challenger of these boxes. can be a savage, that's true. Usually he means well, I guess. Challenger explosion. When that second shuttle blew up, it rained, it rained debris all over my hometown. I wasn't living there at the time, but my mother was. Well, he means well for himself. Maybe not for the general populace or his neighbor. Or is this... This isn't the same one I had, surely. Surely. Am I a challenger? Was it like an official cleanup process? Yeah. They had... They had some... Pretty serious people running around picking up all the pieces. Dive ceremony. Nice. Let me start the dive ceremony. In a minute. I'm going to do a little bit of looking around. And then we can dive ceremony. This looks like a spot I'd put a shrine.
Okay, let's do it. A little trial run. There's no time. Relax, get a feel. Be sure to pass through all the rings. I'll catch in the starting position. Please seek authorization at the terminal. Uh, oh, wait. This is at the top of that thing I was trying to get up. <laughs> okay. That guy down there took just took me here. I've wasted all those resources. Trying to get up here and Duder just teleports me. I mean, I'm not complaining. Just wish Tide had known. One. Whoa, really close. Ah. Speaking of shrine, there it is. Greg Luganis moment. One moment while I look up Greg Luganis. Greg Luganis. Gregory Ephemios Luganis. Oh, participates in dog agility competitions. Head injury, okay. Uh, started NT, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Struck his head on the springboard during the preliminary rounds, leading to a concussion. Oh, it's rough. Yep, looks like he's a dog agility competitor now, after he retired from diving. Diving is scary. Any situation where you give up control is pretty scary. Just let gravity take hold. You get a little concerning. Ooh, 
like a dime. Any plans today, Bird? I saw you mention that your uh, capture card crapped out. That sucks. I really should get another one. Well, it's not showing any signs of failing, but... I should have one on hand in case something happens, I suppose. Did you try any percussive maintenance on it? Howdy, all. For some reason, Alt was silenced. Sorry, can't stay. Have to work tonight. Alrighty, Alt. I'm sorry. I don't know why Otter is angry at Alt all the time. <laughs> but this is a lemon bean. But thanks again all for the bits. I wish Audrey wasn't so mean to you. Sure. I don't like giving these up, but go ahead. Ooh, so close. <laughs> Did we get it in the allotted time? I have earned it. Ooh. Very nice. Mm, I'll pass. Yeah, we found this Zonai helmet. And not as stylish as our old hat, but gives us a bonus to our... It slows down the discharge of our batteries, so it's nice. It just doesn't look as nice, though. Plan for this stream is to continue looking for glyphs. I think we've only got two more to get. One of which is right there. Since we got our new glide helmet, 
Let's try it out. About to engage in story time again. King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Raru, the Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito <laughs> leaders as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. Something I'd like to show you all. It's a door. Pretty neat, huh? with me. I need all your aid. Goofy. <laughs> Alright, that leaves one more to go. One I can't seem to find. Hear somewhere.
And I was like, where are my cold pants? I already got my cold pants on. Let's put our grand head back on for now. Our favorite. Okay, so what's in this area? Ross Perot. Should be off in this direction somewhere. Try for this. Just made it. Is that it? I think that's it. We may have found it. God dang it. I think that is it. That thing is hard to see. of that cube. Where's that cube on here? Is that the cube? Yeah, it looks like it's one of the ones on the side of the hill. Here am I am. Here's the cube. I think it's over here. It's a bit of a distance. Will a couple of rockets get us up there? Rockets are awful fun. How many rockets do I got? 11. Let's get a couple rockets in one of these. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Oh man, there was one right there. Oh. Do two rockets go further than one? The heck if I know. Two rockets are cooler than one. So we get two rockets. Chest. What kind of present does it have in it for me? Ooh, we do like those. We do like those. up there. You didn't get very many Sage's Wills. I got, that's my sixth one. I assume there's quite a few because you use them to upgrade the spirit, the uh, sages, as I just discovered a few minutes ago. Finally found our last thing in my bobber. I also found my top for the uh, cold gear. So I don't need to make a bunch of stuff anymore. Is that a line all down here? Sort of looks as a lionel. just bought Rito gear. I don't like buying stuff. <laughs> Although I did buy the uh, I guess cold top. Paid a hefty sum for it too. Alright. We finally found the last glyph. Now we know the full story. I thought this is not the world I know a time so far back in the past 
It's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. You're a weird little but girl. You, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time. And your story makes sense. Oh, I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Ah, uh, I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era. Zelda's great, 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 yes. great, great grandma. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the yeah. first place. <laughs> Now, Zelda, dear, you don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're... No, I'll it stay out here in the woods house. and live like a hermit. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. I have the feeling the last one is the one I should have found first. <laughs> uh oh. Now what? What did I do? <gasps> it's Zelda Dragon. Oh, she's crying. She remembers. There's another one. Visited all the living Jugliths has witnessed all the memories in the dragon's tears. Afterwards, a light dragon appeared above you and shed a new tear. Tear seems to have fallen in the wrist peninsula. All the way over here. Uh, can't tell which one might be closer. Let's do this one. More tears. Crying all the time. Quit crying. Get a hold of yourself. No more tears. Is that is that our light dragon over there? It is. Zelda's taller than I remember.
And she's more flying through the air than I recall as well. Got a good ear. This needs to be exchanged with something a little like this. Oh man, that thing's charged. Get on here like this. There we go. Oh, we found a lot of Korok seeds. It's an at symbol. I need to reach my friend. Whoa. Where's your friend? All the way over there near the pirate ships. That's lovely. Hoping he can maybe roll down a bit. Storms in high roll are very violent. right here don't worry about it you didn't even have to build anything it just carried you down here. other things to do. Need to clean this monitor again. Hmm. 
Can we make it before we drought? Yes, easy, not a problem. Who are you? Just a little lonely book goblins. Howdy, Jay. The goal of the stream. Bird's not wrong. <laughs> That's the aim of the stream. Yeah. Can we fight a Lionel? I mean, we can. Are we? I don't know. Right now, our goal is to collect. All the tears. Okay, this guy. Needs to drop his armor. Where'd he go? In the wall. Fire, stupid. Oh, damn, nice. Good job. Right now, mainly what we're doing is finishing up the tears, and then our goal. Is to work on the fairy, the big fairy things. Good shoot, buddy. Am I getting the Deku tree cutscenes? I did not know Deku tree cutscenes existed. So I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty much just going to do whatever I want to do, <laughs> which may to some people seem a bit meandering and without purpose, which is generally true. Thanks for the follow. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. 
The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Eat your stone. Minoru, I'm counting on you. Restore the master sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. You must. Well, man, that is a hard pill to swallow right there. I've never tried to eat a rock, but, and that's a big one. Where it gets a suppository form? I don't know. They specifically said you had to eat it. But you know what? I would probably try that first. <laughs> Zelda dragon. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, that's true. Is that the only way to become a dragon? Or... Maybe there's other ways. You don't have to swallow rocks. Did I get spoilers or no? Um, I don't have much information on this game outside of what I've played. And that's kind of the way I'd like to keep. I should pick all these. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs>
for your own health. Keep rock. Well, not bird. Birds swallow rocks all the time. They load up their gizzards with rocks so they can grind up seeds and stuff. Turbine power. I mean, we all eat sort of crushed up rocks. Salt is sort of a rock, right? Alright. Let's put... This year. Chest is over there. Let's see if I can get that chest right quick. these okay Jay I like figuring these things out on my own appreciate the enthusiasm <laughs> Whoops. Unlight as well. Ah, I see. There's a sprinkler system involved.
Oops. some other way. How many hours I got in this game? I don't know. Uh, let's see. We're on part 16. It's generally, generally around four to five hours a session. Pine cones enough to get us up there. Just needed the eh, whatever. Let's just give it a whack. Did it not work? You know what? I bet I broke the pine cone. Doesn't seem like it's working in here. Yeah, it's not working. Hmm. Power this thing over here. Like if I threw a shock fruit at it. Hmm, not really. Any way to charge it up closer to that thing? Does it charge up? Yeah. Okay. to be much further. Right over here will do, probably. I 
it just doesn't give it enough juice. What if... If I sacrificed one of these? No. I'm gonna attach a battery to it? No, I can't take this stuff out. Okay. I know these things aren't conductive. Mm -hmm. So, let's try... I wish I had a halberd. Maybe that's close enough. Oh, dang. So close. I think we're going to get through, though. There we go. We did it. Oh, we like that. Yes, we do. Like that. something there we go all right 
Oh, they give me my ball. I'm going to take a quick break. Be right back. Howdy, Bobby. How's it going? Now, I'm almost certain that's not how they intend you to get that chest. But hey, whatever works. Oh, boy. How's Bobby doing today? There's another one up there. I'm doing pretty well. I, I like that Octorok over there just about to peg me with a stone. Forest, probably not. My, uh, Man, it's another lightning storm. My plan now is to work on the fairies. Carry that around right now, either. Let's use this. get around to it eventually. We're in no big hurry to do anything in particular. Right now I want to do that shrine. Can I get across this? Oh, it's not even that deep.
We're going to get that shrine, and then we're going to look into the Great Fairy Blossoms. Yeah, that'll probably take me forever, too. Games in general take me forever. I'm not what you'd call a speedrunner. I mean, I run games at a speed, but it's not a fast speed. take our time. We explore a good bit. Take it all in. Figure things out as we go along. get. Don't be made out of meat next time. Only 335 more steps to Terrytown. I forgot about Terrytown. I want to go to Terrytown too. First to the shrine. I will get around to doing it. I like to do... I'm fairly thorough, I think. With games. I don't necessarily always 100% things, but... I don't like to leave things undone, either. And if it takes a few years, it takes a few years. I've been playing Pokemon Legends Arceus for well over a year now. And we're probably not done with that anytime soon. Old tingle gear when I find it. If I find it. If such a thing exists. Uh, who are you? 
Dream home, son. Hey, hi, hello. Are you ready for all your habitation dreams to come true? You're in luck. We're building dream homes. All you gotta do is go to sleep. This plot will soon be a first-rate home with sweeping views of a collar. A dream home of this caliber comes with a hedge price tag, but I assure you every rupee is well worth it. Mm. Learn more about this incredible opportunity. Head northwest to Terrytown. Visit Hudson Construction. Are we going to get a house up here? That'd be fancy. Tingle hat and shirt, no bottoms. Doesn't Tingle wear like a onesie or something? It's been a while since I've dealt with Tingle. It's a naked one. I kind of like the naked ones, though. Cookie acquired. What sort of cookie? I sent me flying. Oh, you're not on that. I thought you were on it. Chocolate chip. Of course you move. Of course you do. Why not? Why not move at that exact moment? Too many dummies. Ow. Oh, he didn't hit me good. My favorite cookie is a snickerdoodle. Uh, everybody wants in on this business all of a sudden. That's not what I wanted on there. Gave up. <laughs> Good job. Mm. 
that on there. Give me this bow. Material. Like that. Oh, I need to move. I need to move. I'm on fire. Would you kindly dislodge yourself from the front? Set your friends on fire. There <laughs> you go. Teach him a lesson. Replace, replace your fire breathing thing with a stick. That works for me. Just bought a can of Pepsi for the first time in like two years. They changed the recipe. It's terrible. <laughs> I could have told you that. Pepsi's terrible. Pepsi's just awful. I miss my car. Oh, wait, there's a big car here. Used to be your preferred mixer for alcohols. I never really was into soda for beverages. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know if this is actually going to do anything. But it amuses me. over here. I could have made a freaking spiky bulldozer to run him over with. With fire and everything. I kind of want to do this one again. monster truck in here. This one looks like some real fun. I wish I... How do I get in there? get over here Do I care about that? Mm, not really. It's better than wood and stick, I guess. I can attach a gym to it if I ever feel like it.
I kind of want to go back in there and do it again. Just to run around and run over things. Can we do it again? Is it going to let me? It is. And with my full my full gear too but I want to run over these things <laughs> oh, good. This is great. This is fantastic. That's the can. It already has cannons on the front. <laughs> oh, God. This is my favorite. This is a nice way to farm this stuff, too.
good fun. Wouldn't mind doing that a few times. Free 10 arrows every time I just pop in here, too. This is my favorite shrine. Okay. Shall we visit Terrytown? Pick up a couple of things to do over there. After we collect this Korok. Terrytown visit. Oh my god, is, does Terrytown have a roller coaster? Terrytown has an amusement park. Dispenser. Terry sounds exciting. There's dude. Head dog. Has houses I can go into. Potentially steal things. somebody playing the horn instrument really badly. Down, zip, zap. <gasps> bombs. I can buy bombs here. Monster extracts. Used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently, can be used to make a number of monstrous meats. Interesting. Has a foods, bomb flowers. What the heck is this? That's weird. Dogs. 
Hiccups. Oh. What are you doing? Come on, can't you see I'm playing my a game with Madison? She plays it special. She says it's special training for dealing with something called Vo. <laughs> I think those Vo things are some kind of monsters or something. Guess I better watch out for them too. I guess you better. Ah. Oh my, it's Traveler, darling. Mm, Terrytown has grown quite popular after all. Well, I did help build it. It's all thanks to President Mudson. Hudson, darling, not Mudson. You shouldn't forget about the founder of Terrytown. Hudson? He's the president of Hudson Construction. Who built this tank? Didn't, think they, didn't they open an office around here? Over there. The one with his face on it. It's a place with a sign, you always mistake for Hudson. And say hello to him. <laughs> the old man's gone seen on. Sorry about that. My husband's been getting more forgetful lately. Never mind us. Enjoy your fist. I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, it's raining. Hi. Yeah, Savak. Yeah. Hey, mister, are you afraid of Papa's? He was... What? He was gone for a long time. Now he's back home. I'm going to be moving soon, so i got to make sure I play with Papa and every son. Else, a whole bunch while I still can. Okay. Well, I hope you have fun. Hello. That's an old fish man. Seems to be precious little to steal around here. Customer, how interesting that you should arrive at this particular time to see me at this time of day. I may dare to assume you must be a highland of the nocturnal variety. Yes, I don't really sleep. This is a village where many different folks get. How for pleasant sleep to all, regardless of the rank or where they come from. By the mercy of the goddess, I humble servant led here by destiny. Are you in need of a place of respite? See you later. Alright, what do you got going on? Wow. Right now, son and done. Sir, you ever regretted attaching? Oh, you can take wow. things apart for me. Faster than you can blink. Zip zah. It'll be back to how it was before. Ah. Just cost 20 rupees. Nope. But that's good to know that exists. Probably not likely to ever make use of it, but you never know. <laughs> Quick and quality blinking, we're done. Dream home's the envy of everything. No, oh. oh, excuse me. Do you have business with Hudson Construction? You need to speak with the president. He and his wife are a little busy right now. What are they busy with? Just between you and me. It sounds like there's a bit of a conflict in the family. See, Hudson's his daughter. They, oh, her name is Madison. Lovely girl. Anyway, let me start over. Because of his wife's village's customs. Oh, she's Gerudo, by the way. Her name is Ronson. Hudson <laughs> recruited her while he built this village. So, oh no, look at me talking about things that are none of my business. And to a complete stranger. Yep, never heard of me, I'm sure. Please forget everything I just said. That's not a problem. I'm really good at forgetting things. Oh. Just yesterday she was talking about it. Perhaps you're, perhaps you're overthinking it. 237, nice. I'm going to have to be happy with my 216. I don't think I got the wherewithal to go back in there and do that anymore. It's just so boring. <laughs> Perhaps you're overthinking. No, I do understand. I know you're worried about Madison moving. Minari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. Can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. <sighs> to keep acting like this will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. You're right. 
it's a special journey and we should do something big for it. Huh? Oh, a custom. Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? It's no surprise, our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm so sorry, we're still not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you. Oh. Look who it is, it sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Terry Town is doing real good. Now, nah, it's just the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. My little Madison. Aw, oh, he's going to miss her. Hudson, you got to get it together. Sorry, I got to go. We're kind of busy right now. Going back to work now, Ronson. Don't worry. I'll try to think of something nice to do for Mads. Madison's Independence. Sorry, we aren't open for business yet. Mm, after all, we haven't seen you for such a long time. Now my husband and I must be prepared to send our daughter off. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. We were so deep in conversation, I already made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say Ooh. it's fun and done. Here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. As my own child, I feel so unsure about it. Ooh. I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. Yeah, she's right there. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is, well, she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. Ooh. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. And it's fine while they're very young. But when they start to become more aware of the world around them, Someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. Been told that for a Gerudo, sending them... Spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but I didn't realize this would be so hard for her. Sorry you had to listen to me go on like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. I want to spend time more with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her full, hands full, too. What with preparing Madison for the move, she's so busy she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so long. I guess that's our job. Um, play with Madison. Sure, we can do that. Where'd she go? Also, this is a shrine thingy. Thought it might be bad when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. I've got to hurry and find some sucker to hmm? into the construction site, eh? It's a small fee to use a rail car. I collect that for you. twenty rupees, no exceptions, but you only need to pay it once. One fee, unlimited rides, that's a bark. How about it? Fine. Here's 20 rupees. Ah. Controls are simple. Just give it a whack to either start or stop. Free to use it as you please now. What's that rock? I'm interested in this rock. I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I still, I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> but if you're interested, I would consider selling it for you. Special introductory offer. Not for that price. How about 80 rupees? Hmm. Can you go lower? Oh. What are you doing? Mm. You're trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again. Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I'd call 60, no, 50 rupees a more fair and fair price. Mm. I already said an absolutely fair price. And he might have... Okay, no need for the stern wife look. Well, what do you say? It's a real deal at just 50. Sure, I'll take it. Actually, gonna buy this weird rock I found. That's my lucky day. Have a good eye, sir. Definitely very valuable rocks. You made a wise purchase. Now this rock belongs to you. No refunds. Mm, place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to a home. Okay. Which is probably over there somewhere.
What? I'm taking my rock. See ya. If it does indeed belong over here anyway. Uh, you got down here quick. Two. I bet if I took it over there and started up that thing, it would teleport it all the way back up there. This thing is what? What is this oh. thing? You interested in this too? Yep. It's got toys oh. in it I want. It seems like there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get them out. And fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. But what is it? Where did it fall from? Where my zone I charges go? My little ones. There they are. in this thing. Sure enough. Whoa. I actually think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery, probably. Contributors like this have shown up in places other than just Terrytown. Kakariko Village in Nekwiba, south of here has one. There's one in the southwest to it, Dig Dog Bridge, near the entrance of the Gerudo region. Could it be that the types of zone devices inside each area's contraptions are different? Ah. Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, we'll need to ceremonially award you for your big discovery. That's okay. Oh. Thanks, I guess. I found it while investigating some ruins. It's rare. And I was never seen before in the upheaval, so its properties are something of a mystery. There's a research team studying the plant in Kakariko Village that's south of here in Nakluga. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to ah. them. Anyway, I'm off to more big adventures and discoveries. Bye. Rockets, fan, big wheels, steering sticks, balloons, small wheels.
take some more. I like wheels. <laughs> and steering sticks. And fans. And rockets. This has got a lot of my favorite stuff in it. That's a sled. Take this with me. Oops. Put it over here. I'll take this with me. Step might fall in a big hole. You might. Place to cook some foods. Ah, yes, give me. Saw it over this way. Blood Moon? of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. That's okay. I don't think I've been doing much slaying lately anyway. You over here. Attach you. Oh, shoot. Attach you. Well, not there. Ugh, gross. Hup. 
All right, that's not exactly where you showed you. Were. like this. Okay, this isn't all wrong now. Still all wrong. As far as it's going, huh? Anyway. I'm going to do this again, obviously. Well, at least he didn't move it. One of these is probably going to be fine. Oh, 
resort. Watch him pull his raft. It was a process, but it's done. We did it. Wasn't the cleanest process. Diamonds. Diamonds are Olink's best friend. I don't know what they're for yet, but good to have. And I'm doing all right, Zark. I hope you are also doing well. I said earlier I was going to start the, uh, start working on the fairies, but I got distracted as usual. As usual. I don't know if y'all can hear this cat complaining back here. But she's been on it for quite a while now. She's pretty convinced that she deserves something to eat. Probably get a stamina thing for this. For this set of, uh, oh gosh, we're gonna end up out here, way out here in the water. For this set of orbs. And then we'll start working on hearts again.
don't think we're gonna make it. I just know that there's a Tingle Island over there. Where's what's your face? She was running around here, but now I don't know where she. Maybe mom knows where she's at. In the house, maybe. Oh. This is kind of a storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck. Can't be open from the outside. Maybe something's blocking it from the inside. Maybe. There she is. Uh, we can't get downstairs from here. Interesting. Good morning, it's Savata. Uh, good day, it's Savak. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Huh? Don't forget me like that. For a second, you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown too soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Garuda. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too. So I've made it my Miss Son. Oh, God. I memorize as many words as I can. Would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. About to give a lesson to Granny Monori. Monari. You should come too. I just some oh, I get it. You're big into the sun's thing. I get it. We'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. For this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. The, are all the answers here? Gerudo greetings clearly, smoothly, and easily. Good morning, Savada. No B in good morning. Boys are Vo, not B. No B. Should I be writing this stuff down? Morning is Savada. Boys are Vo. Grandma is Vaba. Howdy, Zach. Thank you for the bean. Thank you is Sarkso. It's a pineapple bean. Nope. Number two. This chief's pet is special. Chief has a really neat pet. Her name is Patricia. Patricia is a special sand seal. She can read people's fortunes. No talking to Vo. Once I go to Mama's hometown, I won't be talking to be allowed to talk to Vo anymore. Mom says it's Gerudo custom. Guess I'll just need to talk to all the Bo folk before I get there. No, number four, must not. I must, 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 must not cry. No crime. No crime. Must not cry. Oops, okay, that's it. I'm never gonna remember all that. Howdy, Callie.
Now it will help, okay. Let's see if I can figure it out. Okay, I'm ready for lesson time. Annie, Minori, Sabak. Good morning. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? Of course, and it's a special occasion too because a new student is joining the class. Pay attention, oh my god. She's really into this sun thing. Granny Minari, it's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for Granny? Gerudo is... Baba. Ding, 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 that's right. Ding, ding, ding. You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before. I read your, I read your notes. Aye, oh, it's Baba. It's on the tip of my tongue. Come on, there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've been rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. Well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown, so if everyone can talk like that here, well, Mama won't be so lonesome, right? Feel better knowing Mama will be okay. Now I think I need, a, I need to think of a way to help Papa. I've got it. Papa's always so busy. I'll just make it my mission to help him with his work. I'm going to go ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. Wow. She's had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's leg, not working up a sweat, trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Hagi was put in charge of the rail car, it's come a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Catch a ride! Well, that was an easy lesson. It has to be. I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site and help him get his work done. I forgot that guy won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. I almost poked her eye out with my shield spike. Never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm going to have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. How am I going to do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. this work oh I can't have this There's a few others I was gonna throw out though they're in the company storehouse and you can use it door seems to be stuck can't be open from the outside maybe something's blocking it inside he is kind of a dick we're gonna have to get in there from the underside probably How did he even get there? Okay. Can you sneak on now? You can go now. <gasps> did you do that? I did. I'm kind of nervous about it, but I trust you. I'll run straight there. <laughs> go, go, go. I did it. My mission is a success. <laughs> I finally go to Papa. I'm off. He's going to be so happy to see me. Thanks for helping me with my mission. You're welcome. wonder if I could have done that for free, too, then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Son and done. It's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Are you looking for the entrance to Terrytown? You're going near the rail car. Right in front of you. Come in here. Okay. Mm. 
Lately, folks have been affixing decorations to weapons and shields and such. Turns out most of them can't deconstruct what they've done. So my brother Pellis has started a business to do it for him. He gets it done. Zun done. Give it a shot sometime. Maybe. Don't really see the need for it, but okay. You didn't mention you were coming here too, Mr. Strange. Papa keeps mumbling to himself. Oh, it's you. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I don't do that very often. I'm trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Mets. Well, what I came up with is this. Gerudo Town is pretty far from here. And there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon. I want to make it really special. Something just for her. I'm just not sure how to do that. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. The sun. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen the sun lions around here. Use them to make a dye, but I'd get a beautiful shade of yellow. Bet I'd get a beautiful shade of yellow. For me to dye something this size, I need ten of them. Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'm mean, finding them my new mission. Appreciate the thought, but it's much too difficult. Sunderlines are quite rare. There's no way anybody could ever have a ton of those hanging around for no reason. I've seen Sunderland before. It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. The sky, huh? Huh. Bright yellow Sunderland. It was attached to those ruins that fell from the sky. Maybe there's a flower field in the sky. Here's ten. Huh? That's awesome, you did it. You really and truly collected 10 of them. Oh, I've been had these stuck in my pocket for forever. What's this, you found them all for us? Looks like I'll have no problem dyeing the balloon the color of the sun. Aww. I wasn't any help at all, I failed. Aw, it's not true. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know, why don't you help me with that? I will, I'll help you make the sun. We made a small child sad. Mm -hmm. Also, I got to take my medicine this morning. Thankfully, it's still morning. It's still the AM, so technically I didn't forget. <laughs> my medicine. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. That's very pretty. Oh, she's all tuckered out. At last it's done, and morning is already here. Just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a bit long. Oh. Hudson, they're here to take her away. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Oh. I see. All right. Fine. Oh. Let's all go together then in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? I don't reckon I got a choice. Wow, I feel like I've turned into a bird. Oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from this height. Take a look at that. At what? The sun is waking up. Oh. Stop being lazy bones, sun. <laughs> it's blessing the start of your journey. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terry Town, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Oh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. As they hang motionless in the air. Your present made me very happy. You know, if you get lonely, you can come back. Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong, just like you. My little medicine, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. 
Yes, it's time. Oh. You can trust me. I'll take care of your papa and mama, don't worry. Oh. You can go. Go become a wonderful vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. Can't wait to hear about your adventure. Oh. I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I mean, Sarkso, or whatever that oh. means. I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to become a great vi like mama. And I'll meet a wonderful vo like papa. Hi. Yep, Savork. <laughs> bye. Does that mean bye? I don't even remember. It's a good thing I didn't wait to do that quiz. Did I manage to keep a smile on my face? You did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us, too. Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm ready. Sorry about that. No, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Oops. Those Sunderlines are pretty valuable, aren't they? As a way of saying thank you. Take this. Oh, nice. Oh. hundred bucks. I can always use a hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. Twice as good as a hundred bucks. Ooh. Already helped me so much. But if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Mattis. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I can just, I uh, you know. It's just a wardrobe change is all. <laughs> Got to be getting back to work. You need to start accepting requests for dream homes again. We can order a dream house, maybe. Probably very expensive. Time for a dream home? Maybe. I need to figure out how to get into this. The well. There's a. Is there a well? It's all the way down there. Let's put a marker. Put a marker here. Maybe the well will get us there. Is that got a little blurry eye at that part? It's tear jerker. Smack. Climb it. Smack it. Oh, now these are some nice presents. Small wheel, small wheel, and rocket, steering stick, this thing, 
Bubble Frog. How do I get in there? To Bubble Frog. Where did Bubble Frog go? Went over there. Yep. It's a very special shop here that is very useful. In this cave, or do you mean at Terrytown? Found that. I tried putting a talus heart on his shield? No. direction too. I feel like one of those digger things in uh, Skyward Sword. What were they called? I forget. <laughs> Magma, that's right.
All right, so there's something I'm not seeing here. Is there a cave somewhere else I need to get into? any cave entrances here except this one and I've already been in there and got the frog out of that one Yeah, they only show up when I discover them, but at least I know that one's not one. Froggy man. Little froggy. Oh. Alright, so there's one on the other side. Arlo? Like Arlo Guthrie? Not exactly what I expected to happen, but okay. Uh, whoop! <laughs> I 
It's perfectly safe. See? Completely unharmed. favorite sausages. Twenty-eight bubble gems. I still don't know what to do with them. into your store. Oh, thank you. Not only not being able to open that door was really starting to annoy me. So a cutout was blocking the door. Appreciate your help getting it out of the way. I'll just move these out back so they can't go and block the door again. <laughs> that should do it. They're a bit banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out. But you're welcome to them, too. Why would I want them? What would I do with them? Okay, time for a dream home? Welcome to Hudson Construction. The medicine off on her own little adventure. Looks like I can resume working on dream home. Howdy, Lemo. Notice how you opened the door towards the outside? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Maybe it was... I don't know. Maybe somebody nailed it to the door. Who knows? A little uneasy, though. There's some kind of massive sand shroud in Gerudo Desert right now, after all. There's nothing I can do about that. I'll just keep her home keep her home safe until she returns. In the meantime, I need to buckle down and get to work. Hudson's <laughs> construction's whole business is built around supporting her customers as they assemble their dream homes. Also, howdy, Lemo. Fuse one to a shield and become a walking billboard. I don't know. I feel like they need to pay me to do that. Oh, goodness. Maybe you're thinking a little basic, like a kitchen or a fully furnished room or something more. What are you here for? Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures or a place to care for your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and what all of our customers truly enjoy, <laughs> which is the opportunity to assemble all these individual rooms on their own. You pick the rooms you want, then you can put them together the way you always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. You can give a little commemorative gift to celebrate starting down the path to dream home ownership. You know, our whole family is in your debt for all your help with mats. So I get one for free, right? If you're interested in dream home, such up with a discount. Nice. It's my way of saying Sarkso. <laughs> Sarkso? A dream home, please. Mm, let's see how much is how expensive is this going to be. Ordinary the land alone. Woof. This one for you, which is fifteen hundred. Uh, oh. maybe they. Yep. Yeah. Support to you too. Where is he? What's this? Sale pending for Mr. Kilton. Do we not know where Mr. Kilton is? Oh, oh hello. I appreciate you helping me with Madison. That was a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. 
I admit, hearing about the sand shroud that Gerudo Town is dealing with, well, it's had me pretty worried. But she's safe with her Gerudo escort. I'm sure she'll they'll take good care. Ronce is back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Sorry if you don't watch it. If you don't watch out, I'll start talking your ear off again. <laughs> You've been a good listener. Thanks for that. I'm supposed to meet a customer here, but he hasn't showed up. His name is Kilton. Hope he hasn't run into any trouble. I said it head this way after finishing an errand near Woodland State. Well, oh, that's a tip. Alright, so... That can be a message that I will listen to later. That was the pharmacy. I didn't order any medicine. Sometimes my doctor's office sends refills before I'm ready for them to send refills. I usually do handle that all on my own. Take a quick break, and I'll be right back.
back. Sorry about that. Nugget was getting a little antsy, so I went ahead and fed the kitty. Alright, what shall we do next? I really do want to go start on... The fairy. That's what I'm thinking of. The fairy stuff. taking care of most of the stuff here. So now I need a whole lot of a bunch of money to get started on the house. Because we need a house. We could probably sell some of this stuff, but... I don't really know how much I need to keep for other things. So let's ask around about that. no audience. I'm hoping for a nice big troop of travelers that I could ask about the legendary pumpkin. Oh, that's yeah. right. The Master Gourd. <laughs> At least one would know about the legendary pumpkin. Sadly, no such mm. luck. All I know is that it is, or was, hidden deep in the woods somewhere. You defeat any monster you feed it to. Legendary mm. pumpkin? You know what I'm talking about? Figures. Mm. Deep forth from the, from the stomach. The Master Gourd. Every time I ask, it looks at me like I'm talking nonsense. Maybe I was fed some bad. Info. Maybe you were. Let's we'll start. Taking care of those pirates or not. Bye. <laughs> it's an idea of a little pipsqueak like you and his old throng. Yeah, we'll get around to it. Alright. We already know how to make that. Salva, 
Saba. Saba the Saba. Feels like upkeep made everything worse. So many giant monsters. Let's settle down in the forest east of here. Huh. Nobody here seems to know how to get started on the the thing. Maybe I've already got a quest. Potential prince sign beckoning woman. He's allergic to bump. Universe for our princess. Great typhlo ruins. Ancient era. Tablet master Koga. Hmm. Trying quests. Find Princess of Crisis. And we did two. No. Maze come? Oh no, I remember that one. That's not. No, no, no. 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 Read. Visual. No, 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 no. Ah, here we go. Um, move the stable trotters. Eustace has gone back to rejoin his troop. Stable tribes. Now, I think somebody said that had something to do with this area, maybe? Oh, my horse taters all the way over there. Hmm. Used to call a stable. Snowfield. New Serene. Riverside. Where's Woodland Stable? We've been talking about that a lot. There's a lucky clover. Tabantha. Outskirt. Shrine over there.
do I see a stable anywhere around here? Probably a little high to be seeing stables. Stables. Not really seeing any stables. Any smoke? I see any smoke. So not around here. Excuse me. over here. Bunch of monsters. A shrine in the middle of the woods. Wait, there's one. Let's go there. Even a handy dandy shrine over there. And 
There's a present up here. Lord is only church. There's a thing, and by thing, I mean another, what you call it? <laughs> by what you call it, I mean a fairy. Rise and fall. Chest. Ooh, not that shield guard up. That sounds good. That sounds lovely. What's this business? Doesn't work for this. That's not going to do it. This is also not going to do it. Let's just see if this works. Drop it. That puts it back. Yeah. Okay. 
Give myself enough time. I'll let it dangle here for a while, then cancel it so it drops back down. No battery, come on. forgot to turn in my balls. are going to hurt somebody. Alright, I think this is where I need to be. Alright, I'm going to do it all one more time. Just to make sure I have all the details correct. What happened the night when the great fairy hid herself away? Mm. We had our eggs in here one awful night. Sometime after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby. Mm. Vanished from view. It was troubling somehow. Got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Mm. Frightful the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse, bolt, our horse, our horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. A real tragedy that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of his wheels broke. Now we can't even transport our instruments to performances or us. At least nobody was hurt. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her butt. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Mm. Whatever reasons the Great Fairy has for hiding herself away. Hiccups. We thought a performance would cheer her up. Mm. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments here. Mm. And one who caused all this was a blonde haired woman, you said. Mm, that could have been. Oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. Yeah, perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly. We got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower pot. Why, you ask? It seems to have something to do with the mysterious blonde-haired one. Hmm. 
border instincts are calling out. Could the mystery woman be her? Could she be ah. Princess Zelda? Of course, she can't put anything. We can't put anything to print till we're sure it's true. So we have to talk to the great fairy first. Okay. You have to learn to flat before you can soar. After all, let's give you the rundown on the great fairy first. Okay. <laughs> I can't opt out of the great fairy talk. Oh. Look way up those hills. See that big plant in the distance? The one that's sprouting out pretty stuff? That right there is the flower bud where the great fairy lives. They say, she, they say she really likes this musical troupe. That's why she moved there near the stable recently. The great fairy who loves the troops' music performances? That alone is something worth looking into. Oh. We mustn't forget that the great fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. Mm. We had a way to reach her. The breezer's broken and we don't go anywhere without her. Not to mention her horse is gone. We're stuck here. Okay. Eyes to see me. Do you plan on setting out? Take it you're also headed to Goron City. Not yet. This may be an odd warning, but do try to watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. What do you mean? The Gorons are typically so gentle and hard working, but lately it seems the young ones have stopped working altogether. Some are even playing tricks on trap. I met one injured traveler who told me that the Goron in question all carried strange rocks. But also plan to go to the city. Watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. Also, there's a restaurant up this mountain path towards the city. I pointed a traveler in that direction quite some time ago, but there's been no sign of them coming back. They ate too much and exploded. It's hard not to imagine they've gotten into some sort of trouble. Don't really know what all of this means, but it's the duty of a stable to keep his guests safe, so I can't help but worry. Okay. Goron City. That way. Well, first, I guess we put this back together. Hmm, that's probably not right. <laughs> that's also probably not right. Oops. Did somebody just say meow meow? Singe. Overheard some great info on Miss Go's treasure. And it looks like you overheard. Perfect. This is so juicy. I gotta share. You've heard of Miss Go's treasure? The famous bandit's huge clothing selection? The story goes that Miss Go hid it in caves all throughout the land. Just the thought gets my fashion lover heart pounding. So the caves of Elden are practically bursting with treasure. Which would be very exciting if they weren't also bursting with lava. If I walked into one dressed like this, my clothes would be burned to a crisp. Uh... I was hoping a nice concert might help hurt me. But the band seems busy right now. I'll try waiting a bit. If we don't get things sorted out, I can come back later. I thought you were going to give me another tip on where to find some cool clothes. That's what I was looking for. Is that who I think it is?
Howdy, hamster. How's it going? Is it bubble frog time? I don't know. I hope he's okay. Yep, this is who I thought it was. I vaguely remember this guy. He has something to do with monster stuff. You there, travel. Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... It's what? Big Brother! Oh my god. It's no use. Please, it's impossible, absurd even, to turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like... Yeah, that's exactly... He's got a... Uh... Okay. I will never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. Do not care what it takes. All I need is to get my fingers on a bubble gem, and then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. The rumors are true. There's a creature in the cave called a bubble frog, and it glows just like a Satori. But I don't think it would be up so high on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Or 30. Do you remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that a trade. The hunt for bubble gems. We finally found it. Let's go ahead and get this one. Is Hamster a train driver? Just taking the train. Is he allowed to take the train? Or is he just stealing it? What am I gonna do? Oh, you're so pitiful. Traveler, if you don't mind, would you lend your ears to my little brother's plea? I fear Colton can't make his dream come true without some assistance. I want to make my dream come true. I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. But the bubble frog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. What is your dream? You want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple really. I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. No. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. And then I read those ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog. A strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. And I had to collect a bubble gem, which is a bubble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble friend could gamble about like that? It's so nimbly bimbly. 
I don't want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm sorry. This is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such doings. But if you get hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure trade, I swear. It is an orange bean. Mm. Okay, let's give him this gem. We've been Holding on to these for long enough. There you go. Mm, that's a bubble gem. Colton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape and the faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem. Real as can be. You did it. Now I can transform it to a Satori just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much. Please take this gifty in return. Ooh. Okay, yeah. I remember, you used to get this from the other guy. Nice. Hmm. Equip to blend in with Bokoblins. I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. There's monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a book cobbler. So much so that even a book cobbler would take you for this. Do try it on, then you will see what it's like to have the bot and the heart of a book cobbler. At last, at last. <laughs> the time has come to gobble down the bubble gem. Cheers and bottoms up. Oh. He literally eats them. <gasps> My body, it isn't changing. But I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. Can know only one thing. I'm on the way to becoming a Satori, and that means more. I need more of them. I can't just gobble them up one at a time. That'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that, Kilton, big brother. I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Hmm. I see. It seems you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. Ah. Hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Ah. Big brother, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Traveler, I'm grateful for your help. But I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on one, please do give it to me. Ah. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty for my collection of treasures for and with that, we hope we meet again sometime, somewhere. Okay, but... I have a whole bunch right now. Hmm. Off he goes. Where? Where did he go? Do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Hmm. Now I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown and Nakala. But dear travel, thank you so much for helping my dear little brother. And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels you will find time to assist in travel. I'll keep my wide eyes in the or keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts. So visit me in Terrytown if you need help find. Yes, yes, I'll be going. Okay. Now I gotta find that guy and give him a million bubble gems. Of course. We need a horse. We also need that.
How do I choose? Choose what? Uh, How's a guy supposed to pick a path to death mountain? Trick up a mountain should be a red hot adventure. Red hot? What's that? The fiery passion of my monologue catcher here? Red hot is as red hot does, my friend. So a while back, Death Mountain was super active. Talk full force, non stop, red hot lava death. Now the lava's all cooled down and hardened and even, I hate to say it, made a new road that's easy to walk. Uh. And ease, my friend, is not, is the opposite of the red hot lifestyle. Now the route going up Death Mountain from Foothill Stable to the east, on the other hand, that's an old and dangerous road, absolutely crawling with monsters. <laughs> That's what I call red hot, but my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat right now, so that makes my decision more complicated. Yeah, I feel for you. Will this just gently take me over there? Probably not. Um, I can't reach it. Is it close enough now? No. Yes. Yep. It's a lot of work for an amber. This one. The butter popcorn bean. Now it's time for a new bag. Sugar free. Okay. One tongue in the bag. Wait, is it? No, that's empty. Bag one of the regular. Hmm. 
bag two of the regular. And there we go. There we go. New bag ready to go. We need the hat back? Okay, we can put the hat back. It's a pretty good hat. Okay. No, stop. Forgot which buttons were which. Which of these horses do we want? I mean, we're gonna give it away. Oh, goodbye horses. I wish we could put this in the stable. <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. fun for a minute. Oh. Still up about up sundown, eh? You oh. found your way to Woodland oh. Stable. I think I get another reward now. One point. Get a new reward, everybody. Love and death in the caves. Yeah. What do I get? Mm. Oh. Main restyling service. Change the look of your horse's mane. Treat your favorite steep to a new hairdo. Oh. The rate to turn additional horse with four more points. Howdy, canoe. I'm getting, I'm getting your bean now. Come here. Oh, God. Very first one out of the new bag. Ugh. Ugh. Damn it. Vile. How are you, canoe? Mm, a fixture. I'll take you. Can't believe it. 
Hmm. Need sort of sort of change the breeze. Make we may be able to make our way now. Quick, let's get in. Wouldn't want to be left behind. Rock out of the way. Yes, yes, no matter. Look, I need one of my horses. I'll take a horse. Give me Bogob horse. Thanks, you. Thanks, thanks, mm. thanks for the tips. see the fairy. Oh, this way. Take it from here. All right, Mastro. Lead us into the performance. Yeah, yeah. Our little troop must play with all the heart we can for the great fair. Violin, the great fairy, hmm. Graces us with her presence. Oh. Truly divine. Hi. It's our bird friend. Ah. Look at this. You really helped out there, partner. 
Is that meant to be Mario? That's what I was thinking. Sounds like you sounded a little bit like Mario. So this is a great fair. Mm -hmm. I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself mm. away. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. Hmm. I think there's an imposter Zelda running around. Causing mischief. Or so it seems. In the deep dark that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. Mm. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. Don't like the sound of that. All the slugs hate was too much. What? <laughs> On the bright side, the great fairy is out of height. That's a big scoop. Big scoop of what? scoop of mashed potatoes got to take wink get this news written up for the newspaper that's right this was your first job wasn't it not really partner you did quite well to get such results your first time out feeling a little proud of myself here's the start to the old nest egg more money always appreciated Take the story back. Take the story and head back. So I will keep readers hanging on to everywhere. Zabow! Apparently that means sword on. Astro, I thought this would me just to set the troop because they didn't like how I played the violin. That wasn't it at all. Why, you moved the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. I guess. I really did do that, didn't I? Did she pick up the violin because that's her name? I've heard the other great fairies also riding away in your boats. I bet if you, I mean, we played music for them, they'd cheer them up too. Brilliant idea. You know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop. The Stable Trotters. Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for two patrol. But you just wait. I just know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of eye. Sweet! We got our first fairy. Huh? I was about to return to my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard these two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. Huh? You will find my sisters in their flower buds. They are as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Oh, she's marking them. Mija is near the stable in Hebra. Kesa is near a stable in Hyrule Field. Kotera is near the stable in West Nakluda. Mm -hmm. Been worried about our safety. But after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask? We find the other buds. Could you talk to my sisters? And while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes for you? Oh. The power of a little doing. I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Mm. Okay, she can help us with a lot of us. Oh, she can enhance the cool hat. Oh. Choo choo jellies, boca butts. Boca butts, okay. <laughs> Mighty thistles for the barbarian armor. Red choo jellies. Boca butts. Okay, what should we get? can't enhance this, but she can't enhance this. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Do it. Oh. Close your eyes. Oh, it costs money. 
I didn't notice that. Source will hear like you surely want to unlock even greater potential. Yes, some sets. If you enhance each part of the set twice, will give you a special bonus when you wear them. Not every set, mind you, but some. Mm -hmm. What about the others? Yes, let's look. Oh. Okay, this great fairy isn't strong enough. Okay, ten bucks. Ten bucks on all this. Mm. We can do these. I liked it better when they took you into the flower. <laughs> Who's a magically great fairy who lives eternally in a flower, even when to do with rubies? That's a good question. Uh, no, I'm not. Pants. Oh, uh, each level upgrade has a different animation. I'll... okay. I want to be taken up in their ample bosoms and... <laughs> Dragged down into her lair. That's level four. Okay. I can't wait. <laughs> Are they all weird sexual? I think that's the point. The Ocarina of Time Great Fairies will poke your eyes out, though. If you're not careful. enough Octorok eyeballs for these. Breath of the Wild, I spent most of my time wearing the stealth suit. I'm 128 book goblin. Mm -hmm. oh. Do I care about this? I mean, we may as well. Hmm. 
Dye the still suit top and bottoms white in Hatino Village. Wear the chic scarf. Hmm. Mm. Little sister Kutera said she was going to a stable near the dueling pigs in the south. Okay. Aww. Bye! Nice. Yeah, where's Fee? Well, I mean, we don't have the Master Sword right now. And also, the Master Sword is kind of royally screwed at the moment. I mean, maybe it got fixed in the meantime. I don't know. find it now if I can find it. I'm in no hurry. I'm sure we'll get it sooner or later. I'm going to assume it's pretty much the same place it was in the original game. Well, Breath of the Wild anyway. There's no rush. There's a lot more of this game to go. Oh, the poor lizard fell. <clears throat> Three rockets. Another fire over there. Top of the stable. Three rockets were rockets, as it shall now mean. Rockets. Let's go hit up that sh that uh, shrine over there. It's gonna rain. Is there oh, I meant to run. I meant to run. Oh, hello. Aw, stupid jerk. Nice. Good job. See that chest over there. Hup. 
Bomb flowers are always welcome. Okay, this is a little dangerous to use in the rain. <laughs> We'll find them. Moblin over there. Tulin made me some meat. Sludge, whoops. Not much to this one, is there? I'm missing something, which I probably am. I usually am. The treasure. Almost got it. Almost figured it out. Just a bit more brainstorming and hmm. Oh. You got this deck. That treasure is as good as ours. Mm -hmm. Hang on a sec, Prison. Hey, you. We're having a private conversation here. Uh. What? How long have you been there? You didn't see me? Huh. Found that chest first. It's ours. I mean, it's in a bottomless bog of certain doom with no place to put your feet, so you probably can't get to it anyway. Any hidden treasure that's maybe. Certainly, definitely in there is ours. Uh? Prison, cut it out. Uh. Sorry, Dag, it just slipped out. Uh. Think about how to get that treasure. So do your job. Keep watch. Got it? As you can see, we're working here, so buzz off. Okay. I'm gonna buzz off over here and build me a bridge and get that treasure. <laughs> Clover. Some webcam. Good enough.
There's a cave over there. Yep. Gimme, gimme. Nice. More bomb flowers. He took it. I did. Almost got it. Almost. Huh? Hey, prison, where'd the treasure go? The treasure? Oh, that guy took it. <laughs> Weren't you keeping watch? I was keeping watch. That's how I know he took it. That guy took it. I was watching him the whole time. You gotta tell me these things. Keeping watch means you have to do more than just watch. You know, can't get them all. No use crying about it. You're pretty good. Almost as good as us at treasure hunting. You're a treasure hunter too. Are you also going after Miss Ghost Treasure? Uh, Prison, hush. Sorry, just ignore him. What are you talking about? So much for the just ignore him, Gambit. There's no way you're also a treasure hunter if you don't know about Miss Ghost Treasure, so we can tell you a little. Miss Ghost was one of the greatest bandits Hyrule ever saw. Not just a bandit, also a fashionista. Rumor has it Miss Ghost's renowned clothing collection is hidden somewhere in Hyrule. We think the clothes are hidden in the caves that appeared during the upheaval, like up ahead in the Elden region. You couldn't really explore back when the Death Mountain was erupted, but now everything's cooled down. The place is all rocky and rugged. Probably tons of secret caves, perfect for hiding treasure. <laughs> Prison, what are you doing? Huh. Oops, definitely forget he said these things. <laughs> nope. I'm going to remember it all. We're still going to go over to that shrine. Uh, it's over there. Okay. But first, you're stuck to go. Yeah. What's this? So well. I gotta remember when I go in towards a cave. Those things pop out. So I can prepare and get myself tons and tons and tons of keys balls. like hanging around. Mm, that's all for that. a lot of stuff. Our bubble frog friend. Hmm. 
Come on, I hit you. Bonk. Get bonk. There's monsters in here. Roasted bass. I don't see you go sit. No, I don't want to do that. Take me back to the Paradise City. Oh, nice. Yeah, we don't. We don't need this garbage. And we got this garbage. Sludge in here. No sneakers in there. Trash. Oh, there's gonna be a Korok over there. Is there not? <laughs> I found me. I was hiding in this garbage and you found me. <laughs> garbage. Now how do I get out of here? Uh -uh. 
I'm going to take a quick break. Be right back. I'm back. All right, how do we get out of here? I think we just sink if we go into this stuff. Apparently not. Is that a core up there? It is. Big! Oh! Dang, that's a tough pig. Pig, I need your meat. No big meat. Piggy meat. There we go.
Where's like red horse? This is a nice little road. That was a weird transition. Sapapa shrimp. Sapapa. Easy enough. They just let you do this. <laughs> you mean just throw those things? Oh, wow. That's nice. Got it. Understood. <laughs> Understand.
Do, 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 do. <laughs> Battery depleted, my poor controller. Is dead. Under the charger it goes. No, no, no. This one's fine. Mm. I need to go see Robbie. I forgot. So I can get that travel medallion thing upgraded. Forgotted. Let's go help this little core out, buddy. Yeah, I've made use of it once already. I just need to remember it's something I've got. Mushroom, not a mushroom, a pine cone. Mushroom, mushroom. Okay. Where's your friend? It goes over there. Yeah. You can't move. What? Such a tired little baby. <laughs> Of this river is going the wrong way. It was all close over there. No zone eye parts just hanging around here, huh? I'm gonna have to do it myself. Use my own stuff.
here I can wiggle out of that. <laughs> We're secure in there. 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 Now, you can travel in comfort. You got your own little cabin. Now that it's not raining anymore. Oops. No, I need to be on there. Oh my god, everything. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, everything's terrible. Ah. Should have just used the bow. Should have just done it the same way. One would have been fine, I'm sure. friend I don't know why you were waiting for him across the river don't you know he's too lazy to get over here by himself yeah. apparently you don't know him very well okay Let's irritate these. Talk to Bobby. 
Robbie, whatever his name is. Not here. Way up here. Yes. No, here. No. What? Here. It's up here, right? Right? Oh, that's right. He's in Hatuno. I thought he moved back to this place, but I, he moved back to Hatuno. Now I remember. Now I remember. Um, that is here. Probably just rocking out in here. Let's make it truly great. Ah. Travel down. It's the only feature left. You should know that. What? You have that map data already in 15 areas? I have the ability to travel to a second and third spot with a travel medallion feature. I knew you could do it. Great work. There you go. Oh. Nice. Third spot. <laughs> Considered a great honor. Awarded to you for your extensive travels. We did it. The Puripet is complete. At last, your Puripet is perfect. And that means you are perfect. That is the objective truth, I'm very pleased to say. Because with all of that, you'll make infinitely better progress in your search of Zelda. What you frying, Zelda? Frying? Be sure to tell her you couldn't have done it without my pura pad improvements. Okay. So, what are you gonna do now? Do 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 do. Next on the list. These great fairies. I also need to go back and do these Koroks I passed up. Outskirt. Great Fairy mentioned this one next. The bird also said he was going back to the newspaper. back here. Okay, the horn player's back. That's good. I know you, Traveler. You've had a delightful development. Look, I mean, listen, it's Eustace. He and his horn are back to our troop. It's heartbreaking. The poor fellow getting stuck in a hole on the way to Rigo Village. Eustace doesn't get to drive the car anymore. <laughs> I'm glad he's out of this funk and fit as a fiddle. Eustace's horn will be on the stable charge and back on course. 
brimming over with happiness to the point of I can't keep a lid on it. I must say, it's good to see a friendly face. One who no doubt shares my concern for the great fairy. Great fairy? You must be mistaken. You really assume such a great fairy Katero is such a notable attraction to dueling pink stick. Pretty sure I read that wrong. Alas, the local great fairy hasn't emerged from her flower bud in quite some time. Here she's scared to come out, just like the great fairy at Woodland State. She used to listen to Beats' drum so far. Hearing his lively beat again will be just the thing to cheer her up, but Beats simply isn't there. Beats is a young drummer who plays with the stable truck, but one day he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. There was that traveler who heard a drum somewhere. Where was that again? Maybe near Kakariko village to the north. Where the road bends around the Nuru stand. Okay. Kinda wanna go to Kakariko village anyway. So let's head off in that direction. The birds. You set me and set me on fire, yeah, huh? huh? Bananas? Hmm. Wherever there's bananas, there's Yiga trouble. Fool. Looks like it was worth using my spare bananas as bait. <laughs> Savor them as you die. Okay. I do like bananas a lot. Your main bananas as well. Those frogs. Sticky frogs. Can I carry this? No. Can I throw something away and then grab that? Probably. 
Do I want to? Nah. Tree suspicious. Suspicious tree. Away, cowards. Bunch of birds up there. Wonder what they're up to. Saba Saba ladies. Oh, never mind. The birds are disappearing. They weren't real birds. Oh, it's this dude. Good. Look, I'm going to need you to wake a fairy up. Come on. What are you doing? Whoa. Hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Oh, come on. Don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the musical troupe I play in has been a little damp. I figured it'd make him honey crepes. That should cheer our maestro right up. Aww. But I can't get my hands on any coarser bee honey. I'm not supposed to make honey crepes without the honey. That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with my beat. I'll need three combs of honey. Somebody said there are some beehives around Kakariko Village in the north, near that huge hole that opened up. There's also some in my pocket. But that hole is pretty scary. No way I'm going anywhere near there. What? Wait a second. What's that I smell? Something sweet? Maybe in your pocket there? Mm. All right. My beat didn't reach the bees, but I guess it got you moving. The bees, that can make up, whip up a honey crepe for the conductor of my troop on the double. There's a little something for helping me out. It's all your nice money. My favorite. <laughs> Stable trucks are back in action. What am I doing here? They need me to bring the rhythm. I don't know where they are, but if I hit up every single stable, I'll run them soon. I mean, they're the closest, literally the closest one. Shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop leader my services again. Till next time, if there's a next time, see you. All right, well, good luck. Sometimes there's fun stuff in high places. Like right over there.
after Rock Ambush. I need those after rock eyes, but it can wait. Some other time. Slip and sliding. What the heck? Oh, it is raining. Even though the weather clearly says it's not raining, it is raining. I see. That makes perfect sense. Still says the sun's shining. My high roll weather report is incorrect. since we've been here. Toys you got in here. Huh. What just rolled out of there? Is that what I think it is? Toys? It's a strange artifacts intended to produce his own device. How would they have built such a thing? Hmm. Couldn't begin to guess. Yeah, you're a bit stupid. I want to get over there. Kakariko Village is going to take some time to explore. And we're probably not even going to do that today. Right device. Uh -huh. 
This is going to teach me how to use those things. Theoretically. <laughs> okay. I see. That's funny. That is amusing. We'll get in there eventually. Oh, that's not going to work. Goodbye! Need a little more length to that, I think. Much better.
pas, tu peux pas. This gives us a fast travel way back here. We'll come check this place out later, but now let's go back here. Let's go wake up our fairy. Mushroom, mushroom. Oh, well, there's the drummer. He found his way back. He probably went to every single stable before coming back to this. Man of the hour. Look at this. Or rather, this. It's Beats. Our stalwart drummer Beats has returned. Sorry, troop leader, I am making my band members worry about me that way. What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. Yeah, yeah. But the beating heart of the stable controller pulses once more. Three cheers for our own beats. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can, can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face. One who knows. Yeah, okay, we've been through this before. Merely zoom because the great fairy Kotera is such a notable attraction. You know, she's over there. I've been over there. She's scared to come out like the others. She used to listen to Beats' drone so fond. The bridge is broken. How are horses supposed to cross? But the bridge is no fun. How about we cross the river? We can cross the river. To the river, everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the great fairy will give you her blessing when she wakes up. If you have time, I'd be honored if you could be there for our performance. I mean, I don't have to... I don't have to get you across the river? You're just gonna go? Oh no, here you are. Of course. The bridge is a bust, but I thought it might be not be so hard to cross the river. I see now that I was mistaken. Even if we took off our breezers' wheels and floated across the river, the current would run that plan aground. Great for you, so near yet so far. Absolutely no idea what to do. She's over there. We've already talked about her, but we'll talk about her again. I'm sure she's scared to come out. Just like the great fairy at Woodland State. Yep, we've been through this. <laughs> Yeah, the bridge is still no use to anybody. If we tried to ford it, we'd all sink before we reached the Great Fairy side. Well, what do you propose we do? Is this possible? Hmm. 
Mm, I don't think we need the... I think this ought to be fine, right? We can float. Excited. Hop in. I'll take you. Yeah, yeah. The very words I've been waiting for. Let's go. Yo. We can't get in the breezer or something where we... If something's where we sit... Oh, Jesus. That good. Oh. I've been. Yeah, yeah. Three words I've been with. Get on four boy. It changes his mind. Okay, that time it worked. <laughs> going on a. Uh -huh. The breezer's rock. Oh God. So they're not having a good time so far. Okay, it's fine. We'll get there eventually. Apparently it's not the perfect device. The bag on that thing. Oop, I fell off. there. There we go. She's beautiful. Yahoo! We've done it. Oh, 
Well, I did it. My heart just picked up tempo. Music starting the stable trotters are the cure for anyone's malay. I'm prepared to token of thanks. I deserve every last bit of a hundred bucks. All he can say is yaya -ya. <laughs> and wahoo. Proud to say the great fairy Kotera is at peace. She wasn't the last great fairy still should have landed flower bottom. That's why we must be off at once to visit the next great fairy. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. We're halfway done with the fairies. <laughs> First breath of fresh air. So intoxicating. The beat of the drum has lit a fire deep in my heart. Can you feel the heat? Are you ready for more? <laughs> Allow me to enhance your clothing. I will need the necessary material. Ah. Power available to me. Enhance your clothing a fair amount. Alright, more of this. Ooh, it's costing 50 now. Still can't do the legs. Archaic one. Hmm, okay, because they're archaic, I guess. Hmm. I need a different set, apparently. Mm, I need marble and guts for these. Okay. Hmm. Guess I'll be hunting me some moblins. And we can enhance this item. Lame. Well worn hairband. I wonder what this is what I'm gonna do. Moblin slaying wind soon. Need to find me some electric lasolphins too, apparently. Hmm. It's getting expensive. Need to find me a way to farm up some real cash. Mm. Let's do these. Mm. You're gonna do her thing. Mm. <laughs> oh. True power. Only if you were the whole set. Well, not all sets have the potential. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This ah. one. And there's all the money we earned for waking her up. <laughs> Link starts dripping. It's a lot of saliva. Sister Kesa Gerudo. Bye. We already have uh, a horn dude for the one that I don't remember where she is. Uh, this one, I think.
<clears throat> oh, right. This place. Yeah. I need some... I need some better... 13 to... What? 13. Oh. This now offers more protection than this. Interesting. Which is good. Anyway, I think we're going to take a little break. It's been almost six hours. Okay. Let's take a little break. Oh, boy. Let's see. Killer's streaming, sort of. What's that bird? What? Judd's six? What? Oh, just six. Took me a minute. Let's give Killer a second, see if Killer comes back. Looks like his power went out. All right, off somewhere else then. Um, tell you what, Benthic is playing Unpacking. We had a good time with that game. Oh, uh, why don't we go hang out with Benthic? going to be back in a couple hours ish and uh we're probably going to do some phasmophobia at that time after i've had a little bit of a rest anyway take it easy i will talk to y'all then bye